Hello, Dr. Zakir with you, Senior ENT Consultant. The topic is Temporomandibular Joint Dysfunction. If you see this model, this is a temporal bone, mandible. So you have the temporomandibular joint. This is a joint. The right side joint, left one. So with a proper position and gliding movement of the joint, you have the proper jaw movements, closing and opening of the mouth and side to side movements also. You have so many different muscles around the joint which helps in the proper positioning, proper positioning and the working of the joint. If you see this diagram, you have two, this is a temporalis muscle, this is a masita and here you have the joint and you have a small cushion here. Sometimes this cushion may be misplaced. It may get displaced forwards. This also can result in dysfunction. Now, there are different uh, muscles which helps in different function. These are the muscles which helps in closing the joint. These are the muscles which helps in opening the joint. The commonest cause of facial pain is toothache. The second commonest cause being temporomandibular joint dysfunction. It is more common in females between the age group of 20 to 40. The common causes for TM joint dysfunction are muscle disorder, disc problems and joint disorder. The muscle disorder is because of muscle spasms. This is because of the overactivity of the muscle that is hyperactivity and mainly results because of the stress and strain and not only that because of the head posture also i will tell you in detail about the head head posture later on second is the disc disorder which results because of the malalignment misalignment of the de dentition the last being joint disorder which is secondary to trauma or any systemic cause related arthritis when you ask the patient the his, uh, related to his work, most of them they have a heavy computer work and they will be under stress. And poor heating habit also can result in TM joint dysfunction. They have dental caries, suppose if they have the dental caries on the right side, they tend to eat on the left side. So what happens, that particular side joint will be overactive and it results in muscle spasm also. So it leads to dysfunction. In case of extraction of the tooth, most of the dentists they say to, to eat soft food from that particular side of extraction. But most of the patients they tend to continue the same habit for few few weeks, result in dysfunction. In situations of wide mouth opening, say like uh, eating an apple or during yawning or uh, taking hard nuts, all this also can result in TM joint dysfunction. Most of the patients, they present to the ENT department with complaint of ear pain. Because the nerve supply of in front of the ear and the ears and the temporal region is by auriculotemporal nerve. So most of the patients, even though it is related to the joint, they present with a complaint of ear pain. Ear examination with an auto endoscopy and ear related investigations all they turn out to be negative. So when you ask the patient to open and close the mouth, they say there will be clicking sound sometimes related to the joint. And suppose it is not, if it is not treated in the early stage, if it becomes chronic, because of this ear pain, joint pain, it can result in headache also. Those patients who have migraine, this migraine may get aggravated because of this TM joint dysfunction related pain. So what are the aggravating factors for TM joint pain? Chewing, jaw movements and some of the patients they may complain they have this pain at night that is because of exposure to cold. Now on examination, when they come to us in the early stage, their mouth opening will be normal. Suppose they present to us very late, say about weeks or months together, their mouth opening will be restricted, they will have trismus. 
the normal mouth opening is 5 centimeters and usually a three finger fingers can be easily inserted in the open mouth even the normal lateral mandibular movement may be uh, hampered in case of if the chronicity increases on the pre auricular area means the place just in front of the ear if you press that particular area they will have pain when we place both the fingers on both sides of the ear pre auricular area and ask the patient to open and close both multiple number of times they will have pain on that particular side of TM joint dysfunction and when we place the finger inside the ear and ask them to open and close the mouth repeatedly the pain gets aggravated and sometimes they will have this click sound or capitus sound usually the TM joint dysfunction can be easily diagnosed from the history and when there is pain in the pre auricular area only in chronic cases we need to do some investigations usually from the END part of view we do orthopendomogram or plain film lateral oblique view 90 to 95 percent of the patients can be treated in a simple way less than 5 percent need to be referred to a specialist TM joint specialist who would request for a MRI scan or TM joint arthroscopy for the needful now coming to the treatment the main part of this video we will treat see the treatment under the following headings jaw rest contrast bath medications massage exercises behavioral modifications posture training and the last in less than 5 percent of the patients they will need surgery to start with occlusal splints and if not treated by that we have to do surgery to start with jaw rest the more the movement of the joint the more painful the joint is so if they have the habit of taking chewing gum uh, chewing gum daily they had to avoid avoid hard foods like nuts avoid wide mouth opening and avoid yawning also some of the patients especially during the working hours they have the habit of clenching the teeth or biting the pen or pencil during the waiting uh, uh, working days especially in the office because of the stress we have to tell them to avoid that contrast bath see watch this video this patient has got a right temporomandibular joint dysfunction so I will demonstrate how to use contrast bath first what you have to do is take a small cotton dry cotton place it in the ear so that the water does not go inside the ear now you have an ice gel in my hand or a pack ice pack you will get in the pharmacy you have to place it over the pre auricular region over the temporomandibular joint for one minute followed by application of warmth for 10 seconds only so first ice application for one minute and warm application for 10 seconds this has to be repeated at least 5 to 10 times that is one session one session per day and total of five sessions that is for five days so why I am using ice followed by warmth? I will tell you the reason for that. Ice relieves pain and reduces the muscle spasm. Heat, it increases the local blood supply and also reduces muscle spasm. Next, I will tell you uh, about the massage. Like how I mentioned before, you have so many important muscles in position so that the normal movement of the temporomandibular joint is first you have to place the hand over the masseter muscle over here and ask the patient to cleanse the teeth so when he does that there will be a small muscle bulge so that is the spot where you have to massage at least 5 to 10 times masseter muscle that is one now the next one will be temporal muscle here after the placing the hand here ask the patient to clench his teeth the muscle become prominent so that is a point where you have to massage 
again 5 to 10 times so that is all about massage next i'll tell you about exercise i'll tell you at least four exercise here first you ask the patient to open the mouth and i'll try to keep i'll try to forcefully close the mouth like this 1 2 3 4 so at least 5 to 10 times that is one next is ask the patient to jaw is move his jaw to the either side either to the left or right here first to the right to the left i am trying to push it to the opposite side then he moves his jaw to the right i am trying to push it to the opposite side so each will be 5 to 10 times this is the first two exercise this is the second exercise this is the third one i'll tell you one more exercise wash your hands properly and place your finger index finger near to the joint and you you will feel a tender spot there that is because of the muscle spasm that tender spot you had to massage at least 5 to 10 times so totally i have told you about four exercise so to start with jaw rest second contrast bath third massage fourth is exercise so daily you have to do this at least for 5 to 7 days so the prof doctor will prescribe a few medicines mainly pain killer with a muscle relaxant along with an antacid and in chronic cases we may need to write prescribe antidepressants too about the behavioral modification they have to reduce the habit of clenching their teeth and i have just like how i mentioned before proper sitting position or the working position is very important see the first picture here is a normal person where the head is straight and this corresponds to placement of 4 to 5 kilos in the head which you will not you will not uh, it will be normal for us you will not realize that you have you are bearing a weight of 4 to 5 kilos see with each angulation say like 15 degrees you feel as if 12 kilo weight is placed on the head you will have pain in the neck so if it is 30 degrees it is 17 kilos it is 45 degrees it is 22 kilos it is 60 degrees 27 kilos see what happens is usually most of us during the end of the day after having a good dinner we lie down in the bed we watch movie at least for one or two hours and the position is going to be this so that position it's as if 22 or 27 kilos place in that because of the head posture angulation so when there is pain here muscle spasm in the neck this can automatically reflex muscle spasm in the muscles around the tm joint also so muscle, the posture is very important that also helps you relieving the pain in the tm joint so 90 to 95 percentage of the patients we can be easily dealt with all this only less than 5 percentage we need to be referred we are the patient need to be referred to a tm joint specialist who will do an mri first followed by uh, tm joint arthroscopy and they will do the needful that's how we deal with tm joint dysfunction thank you